10 signs that you are playing the victim's role and 10 reasons why many people choose to be victims. I do not deny the fact that some people are really victims for a variety of reasons. This presentation, however, is about the relationship of victimhood to happiness. Did you have a happy childhood? Because your parents were cool and knew positive parenting? Or you were hurt by their way of disciplining or irresponsible adult behaviors? Do you consider yourself part of a group that were or are still victimized by the society where you are in? Do you feel different because of a particular defect? Maybe you're too small, too thin, too white, too poor. Some consider being adopted or having an accent a source of pain. Do you feel insulted, taken advantage of, compared, or judged harshly? Are you the type of a person who do not take responsibility for your actions? Instead, you blame the negative consequences of your behavior on others. If you consider yourself a victim or play the victim's role, you become your worst enemy for the following 10 reasons. 1. You automatically give up your capability to control your life. Whatever happens to you is entirely not your fault and there is nothing you can do about it. 2. You live in a world which is unfair and playing favorites, but unfortunately you are not one of the world's favorites. You assume a disposition that is angry or sometimes even combative, that as if you are always ready to fight. 4. You feel that you don't deserve to be happy. Instead, you cling more on the miserable side of life. You are not enthusiastic enough to confront whatever it is that gets you stuck. 6. In a lot of ways, you create a problem that is actually not there. 7. You are searching for the real cause of your unhappiness, but in the wrong place. 8. You use your victimhood as a shield to prevent yourself from seeing what truly causes you pain. 9. You would rather be hypertensive under the guise of defending your rights, but behind your aggressive behavior is insecurity, bias, judgment, or even envy. And finally, number 10. You don't want to feel responsible for your own behavior. Instead, you resort to choose the blaming game. Friends, you cannot be a victim and truly happy at the same time. Why play the victim's role? Here are the 10 reasons. 1. Blaming is a lot more comfortable than to search within for the source of one's unhappiness. 2. To react negatively is a tendency to most than to choose to be proactive in every circumstance. 3. People conclude that they do not have any control over external circumstances and give up their chance to work on their happiness. 4. Victims find it almost automatic to let the people around them affect them tremendously instead of using their ability to determine the kind of feeling they assume. 5. They are tempted to get the sympathy of others by choosing the way of victimhood. 6. They find personal responsibility a frightening task to take and therefore it has to be avoided like a plague. 7. They rely on self-pity to ease the pain they feel, thus becoming paralyzed in the process, a situation that is destructive to their own and to that of others. 8. They do not have the strength of character to face the harsh realities that life offer and be on top of the situation. 9. 
victimhood is used by people as an excuse not to perform, deliver, or accomplish a task. And 10. To be a victim is unbelievably a source of happiness to others. They are happily choosing to be unhappy. If you choose to be a victim or to remain one, you are unnecessarily choosing a life of misery and pain. Refuse to be a victim. Instead, choose to take control.